American Idol 2018 Top 10 Results, Who Was Saved and Who Was Eliminated Tonight, the top 10 winners of American Idol 2018 were revealed on the results show and we have the full rundown on the episode, along with who was saved and who was eliminated. Last night, the top 14 contestants performed in hopes of moving on in the competition. Which of them made it through in the competition? Maddie Papa was the first contestant to receive their results tonight and host Ryan Seacrest let her know that she had made it into the top 10. That's right, Papa is going through and she immediately followed up the results with a performance of the song Walk Like an Egyptian by the Bengals. Michelle Susset was next up to find out whether she was definitely in the top 10 or not and she took the stage in head-to-toe sequence. Susset was not an immediate win for the top 10, so she had to perform for the judges and she decided to go with an original song called I Am a Dreamer. Just before singing, Susset told the audience that she wants them all to be dreamers as well. The judges said they were so proud of Susset and her performance. Next up was Marcy O'Donaldson, who was also not immediately in the top 10. And so, he performed for the judges, singing Nick Jonas' song Jealous, in hopes of being picked. Unfortunately, his performance wasn't that well received by Judge Luke Bryan. Upon hearing the news, Donaldson became emotional. Cade Fainer was the next contestant to be met with results on the show and he walked side by side with host Seacrest, up to the stage, to receive his news. Fortunately, Fainer was told that he was in the top 10. Garrett Jacobs was the next performed to find out his voting results, and America decided that he would need to perform for his rite of passage into the top 10. Jacobs decided to perform Have You Ever Seen the Rain by Creedence Clearwater. The crowd cheered for Jacobs and the judges felt it was a great song choice, though they also said it was the best that Jacobs has sounded. After Jacobs' set and a commercial break, Gabby Barrett was told that she was moving on and into the top 10. Celebrating her win, she performed Miranda Lambert's song Little Red Wagon. Dennis Lorenzo followed Barrett's performance, after finding out that he hadn't made it into the top 10, based on America's votes. With that, Lorenzo said, it's time to change their minds. And so, he performed this woman's work by Maxwell. Lorenzo killed it and the judges said that they will definitely fight for him to stay in the competition. In the middle of the results show, Ryan Seacrest revealed that, starting next Tuesday, all viewers will be able to tune in and vote live at the same time, across the nation. This is a first in this kind of competition show. And next on the chopping block was, Johnny Brenz, who had to sing for a possible spot in the top 10. So, for his potentially last performance, he chose to sing Demons by Imagine Dragons, in an emotional set. The judges loved Brenz's performance and said that he's grown exponentially over the course of the competition. Caleb Lee Hutchinson was then revealed to be safe and moving on to the top 10. Hutchinson made his way to the main stage and performed Chris Young's song Get a New Home. Left waiting for their results backstage were Katie Turner, Michael J. Woodard, Journey, Mara Justine, and Ada Vox. And the contestant who received her results next was Mara Justine who had to sing for a possible spot in the top 10. For her performance, she sang Love on the Brain. Justine gave an expressive and emotional performance, so it's no wonder she was met with praise from the judges. Luke Bryan said he was surprised that America hadn't voted her through automatically to the top 10. Next to hit the stage was Journey, who was told by Seacrest that she would have to sing for her chance to move on in the competition. To perform for a possible save from the judges, Journey chose to sing Never Enough from The Greatest Showman, a song she previously performed on the show. Woodard soon took the stage to celebrate moving on in the competition. Upon hearing good news, Woodard sang Believe in Yourself from The Wiz. And so, it was down to Turner and Ada Vox, but Turner had won America's votes. For her performance, Turner played guitar and performed Camila Cubello's hit song Havana. So, last, but surely not least, Vox was up to perform for her spot in the competition. During the commercial break, Seacrest said that the entire crowd was chanting Vox's name. For her big performance, Vox decided to bring the house down with the song and I'm telling you I'm not going. All three judges stood up to applaud the powerful singer, who became very emotional. Immediately, the judges sent Vox into the top 10. There was no deliberation. Vox was in. Journey was then picked to join the top 10, which meant that there were two more spots available. Michelle Susset was the next one chosen to move forward. Only one spot was left, and, it went to Dennis Lorenzo. 